I have the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 and I'll be showing you how to set it up by transferring your data from an older Samsung Galaxy phone. Now here, as my older phone, I have the S24 Ultra and I want all my data to come to this phone. So all my photos, all my messages, everything. So what you want to do is turn on the phone for the first time and keep in mind that I've already inserted two SIM cards in the SIM tray. So choose your language and then tap on start. And then of course you have to agree after reading the end user license agreement and privacy policy and then tap on agree. Now it's going to prompt you, do you want to easy set up with another device, Galaxy or Android device? Now you can either tap this or this. So here on my old phone, it's already detected that I'm trying to set up a phone and it's prompted me set up Galaxy Z Fold 6. To get started, you'll scan a QR code to copy accounts and settings and transfer your SIM and more to this phone. So I'll tap on setup and it's gonna attempt to connect. And then what you want to do now is grab the old phone and scan the QR code that pops up on the new phone. And once you scan, it's gonna ask for the password that you're using on this phone. So I'll just enter that password and then it's gonna verify that it's me and it's gonna use that to connect to my Wi-Fi. And it says it's getting the phone ready. Now, this may take some time, of course, depending on the speed of your Wi-Fi and also the amount of data being transferred. So now it says continue setup on your new device. So basically we can keep this away and come to this device. Now don't keep it too far, just keep it close by. So it's gonna ask, do you want to copy from your Android device? Copy data, tap on next. So get started with smart switch, tap on next. And then it says smart switch uses these permissions. So just go ahead and allow. And it's going to prompt you if you've not to set up smart switch on your older phone. So I have set up, but I haven't updated it. So I'll just set up a smart switch. Once I've set it up, I can now tap on next here. And then you need to make a very important decision. Do you want to transfer your data via Wi-Fi or through a cable? So wireless is okay but it's not very fast all you have to do is make sure you've connected both this phone and the new z fold 6 to the same wi-fi network alternatively you can use a cable which is much much faster fortunately i have this type c to type c cable that comes in the box of my phone so i'll use this to connect one end to the older phone and the, new, and the other end to the Galaxy uh, Fold 6. Now, once I've connected, I'll choose cable. And then on this other side, I need to verify connect to Z Fold 6 to transfer your data, tap on connect. So currently it's searching for the data on this phone so it can prepare for me the data that I want to transfer. Now, once it's done, it's going to give me options. Now, one option is to transfer everything, which is going to be 120.93 gigs, or I can transfer just calls, contacts, and messages, or I can just choose custom. And once I choose custom, I can transfer uh, just the stuff I want. But here, I want to transfer everything. So I'll choose that and then tap on next. And then it's going to say we can't transfer your charts and data for this apps and that app is WhatsApp. So I'll show you how to do that later. So for now, let's just go ahead and transfer other data. Now, do I want to transfer secure folder? I can just skip that. Or if I want to, I could have entered the password for the secure folder. So currently it's transferring via this cable connected. 
so that should be fast okay so let's just uh wait and see how that goes it may take some time because uh depending on the amount of data you have meanwhile do not disconnect the cable and if you want to keep the screen on you can keep it on so i want uh, i don't want that because i want to save battery so here i can go ahead and accept the google services i can set up google assistant or skip i can choose access assistant without unlocking device i'll skip that i can set those up later So like I said, let's just wait for this process to finish up. Now I'm being prompted to set up Galaxy AI or basically just to see what Galaxy AI is all about. Just tap on next. Samsung services, agree. And then you have some tips about taking care of your phone. Just tap on next. And it says I'm all set up even though my data is still being transferred to my phone. Now, keep in mind that during this entire process, you're not supposed to disconnect the cable, okay? So just keep everything connected and wait for this process to finish. You can set up your eSIMs. You can continue with other things like setting up eSIM, adding Google accounts, adding Samsung accounts, doing whatever you need to do. Just make sure you don't disconnect the cable on either side of this connection. So we have my eSIM setup, I can skip that, set that up later. I can use my phone, look at my gallery, stuff like that, okay? Thank you for watching. Comments and questions down below and good luck.